everyone, welcome, I'm Robert and this is another Star Wars Destiny Encounters playthrough. Today I'm going to be playing against Luke in normal difficulty and I'm going to be using this Jabba the Hutt and Arinda Price deck which I'm going to put up on screen if you're interested in seeing the contents of. So we're almost done setting up, I just need to draw my hand and then roll off to see who goes first. Alright, so let's go ahead and shuffle, okay. I draw my five, one, two, three, four, five, all right, and uh, this hand looks pretty good. Let me go ahead and return that, all right, and draw another one. Okay, there we go, what? Oh, well, they look at that. All right, uh, so, uh, okay, uh, now um, let's uh, roll to see who goes first. Okay, so that's a pretty good roll. I got six. Um, it's pretty doubtful <laughs> Luke will win that, but let's see. All right, so that's, um, yeah, no, wait. Uh, yep, not, uh, Luke did not win that roll. So uh, he's gonna gain his two shields, all right? So I'm just gonna put them here. And um, let's also, um, uh, let's also give control of the battlefield to me, all right? And when I when the battlefield is claimed, I flip this token to the red side. Okay. Uh, all right. So the other thing is um, uh, that I want to mention is that I'm using the um, I'm using the advanced uh, battlefields module. So um, I I didn't bring a separate battlefield for my deck because I do actually want to use this battlefield with my deck. Right. So there's no point in bringing two copies. Uh, this is the battlefield that Luke brings with his deck when playing with the advanced battlefields module, all right? So uh, I just go ahead and attach this to the battlefield and when Luke claims it, he resolves the enemy uh, claim uh, ability, all right? So I'm gonna put that there, okay? Uh, and that pretty much uh, is it as far as setup. Uh, oh, and the shield there is for, is for uh, the advanced uh, discard and hand effects module, right? Uh, Arinda has a uh, discard side to her uh, dice, all right? So I wanted to use the advanced discard um, rules, all right? So that's why that shield is there. Um, but um, other than that, that's it. We're good to go. Let's get started. So I go first and I want to start by uh, giving, uh, let's give um, Jabba the HUD an upgrade probably. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's start with Hunter Instinct, okay? All right, uh, so if that dies, uh, if that die is rolled, uh, I'll explain what it does, but this is an upgrade. And the whole point of this deck is to have um, a bunch of uh, special uh, dice faces to uh, get the most out of Jabba the Hutt's ability, all right? To deal indirect damage equal to the number of special dice faces that you have. All right, so that was my turn. And now we go with uh, look, all right? Now, instead of rotating cards to activate, I'm just gonna use these tokens, all right? Uh, so let's go ahead and roll for look. All right, so that's a couple of shields right there. All right, we got a melee, and then we got a, um, a blank, all right? Uh, okay, uh, and I think now it's time to roll, all right? So let's go ahead and activate Java, all right? So we roll, wow, we got all of those uh, special dice faces. That's exactly what I'm looking for. All right, uh, now Luke will attack with his melee. Uh, as he'll deal two damage to Arinda, okay? She has the lowest health. Uh, and then on my turn, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, nothing I can play from my hand, so let's go ahead and just activate Arinda, all right? Okay, cool, uh, not bad. All right, so now uh, Luke will gain a couple extra shields, so he will go up to four, all right? Uh, on my turn, um, let's see. Um, so Hunter Instinct says deal one damage to a character or two instead if that character has three or more damage on it. All right, so that's the Hunter Instinct special. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and um, resolve this melee against him for two, all right? Uh, there we go. All right, and then Luke will play his next card. So he'll gain two resources, okay? Cool, stockpile, simple card. 
uh, then uh, before he starts removing my dice, why don't I go ahead and resolve my specials. So um, Java the Hutt's special deal indirect damage to an opponent equal to the number of your dice showing specials. So that's including that die that you're resolving. So one, two, three. All right, so that's three. So I remove two shields and add one damage, all right? Okay. Uh, and then I resolve another special, all right? Uh, and uh, same thing, but this time one less damage. So one, two, all right, so that's three. And then I resolve this uh, and uh, this time it's two damage because Luke has a three damage on him. So he's down to five. Uh, all right, and then Luke plays a card, deal one damage to each of my characters. Okay, all right, so one, two, uh, Jabba the Hutt, and then our Rinda is now at three damage. Uh, all right, and then uh, just because I don't know, uh, I don't really have anything else to do besides this or claiming the battlefield, but we're gonna go with playing this first, see if we get lucky. So I discard one at random from Luke's hand, and in that case, I simply I simply roll dice to see which card I discard. Um, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. All right, so this one gets discarded. That's awesome, right? Oh, and look at what I just discarded right there—a relentless assault. All right, that would have been uh, that could have been ugly. So uh, I got lucky there. Now the downside of that, though, is that now uh, Luke will go ahead and claim the battlefield. So he'll go ahead and claim. All right. So now he has the battlefield, and he resolves the enemy claim ability. Uh, the enemy turns one of their uh, dice showing blank to each side showing special and then resolves it if able. So he resolves his special and I put one unblockable damage on Jabba the Hutt. All right? And uh, it looks like that's it. So now we move on to upkeep. Now during upkeep, Luke will gain one resource as per normal difficulty. So he'll advance, all right? So he'll gain an extra character die. And uh, we now go ahead and replenish his uh, hand, okay? All right, and now I also need to do the same. I gain my resources, and let's all also flip this, okay? Uh, because now the battlefield, the battlefield will be available to be claimed later. And do I want to keep any of this? Um, sure, let's go ahead and keep uh, that, that's fine. I'll go ahead and draw a card. Now they're nowhere to run. Wow, the uh, deck really wants me to, to let me know that I, I need to have two copies of that in my hand. Uh, all right, so now uh, looks like we're done with upkeep uh, and oh, let's remove these uh, exhaust uh, tokens, all right? Uh, okay, and we're gonna start activating things, all right? So uh, that's it, new round. Uh, Luke gets to activate, okay? Uh, so let's go ahead and put a, a, that token on him. And he goes ahead and rolls his dice. All right, so we have uh, these results here. Three, four, one, and then uh, six and five. All right, there we go. Um, all right, so now on my turn, um, Let's just roll, and actually, okay, no, let me also add this uh, for uh, Java, another um, source of um, uh, another source of special dice faces. This one's called Underhanded Tactics. Deal one indirect damage to an opponent, and you may resolve another one of my, I may resolve another one of my dice, so that's awesome. Um, all right, so that's my turn, and then Luke goes ahead and resolves that against Harinda. Okay. Okay, so that's two damage, and on my turn, uh, let's go ahead and activate uh, Jabba the Hutt. So I put a activate token on him. Okay, let's go ahead and put this over here. All right, I got it. I got a special. Love that. Um, all right, uh, and then Luke will activate another melee against Arinda. So now she's at th three. I need to 
uh, use her while I can because uh, she's not looking good. Uh, oops, what am I doing? Uh, there we go. Let's put that there. Let's activate her. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, so now uh, Luke will then resolve his special. I put a negative, uh, not a negative, a unblockable damage on uh, Jabba the Hutt. Now guys, resolve. Um, this and let's turn this into a um, special. All right, let's do that. Um, okay. Now, um, Luke will go ahead and then gain a shield. All right. So let's just put that there. Okay. Uh, and then on my turn, uh, let's go, let's start doing this. So um, I'll turn this, uh, actually, um, for, yeah. So I'll go ahead and, and play this, uh, or resolve special phases, all right? So that's one, two, three, four, all right? So remove one of these and then three, so that's eight, okay? And another special. Um, then I'll turn this to a resource, uh, or actually no, let's turn it to a a, a melee, uh, and then I'll turn this to um, I'll I'll resolve this. I'll deal one indirect damage to him. All right, so that's nine, uh, and then I can resolve another one of my dice. All right, in this case I'll resolve this. All right. So that's two, so that's 11. Okay, and then I just have my resource die left. All right, so now that's me resolving all of my special dice. So now Luke plays the top, the next card he has. So defense, uh, each player removes one of their dice showing damage. Uh, and if no dice were removed, this card gains search. So search. Uh, Ion Blast, uh, remove all shields from all characters uh, from the each player removes all shields from the character they control with the most shields. Uh, I don't have shields, so uh, that was a dud uh, for Luke in this case, thankfully for me. I'll go ahead and gain a resource. Luke will play another card. Vanish. Uh, players can't resolve dice showing melee, ranged. Uh, all right, so yeah, in this case, that uh, doesn't uh, that doesn't help Luke in this case. So now I'll go ahead and um, uh, I'll play uh, Stock Freighter, all right? Um, and activate it because it has ambush, all right? Okay, uh, all right. And then he plays another card. Let the hate flow. Each player removes their highest value die. All right, so I have to remove it. Um, and then deal indirect deals damage equal to the value shown on that die to one of their characters. Uh, the value is zero, so I don't deal damage, but I lose the die. All right, so in my turn, I'll go ahead and uh, claim the battlefield. Okay. And then uh, we just move on to the next round. So Luke gains one resource, I gain two. And then um, I'm gonna discard one of these and I'm gonna draw up to five. Okay. All right, and then Luke uh, will go ahead and replenish this and let's remove these um, exhaust tokens and let's flip this at two. All right. There we go. Uh, okay, and now, um, because I control the battlefield, I go first this time. Uh, so let's see. Um, I'll go ahead and let, maybe if I'm lucky, I can f I can finish this this turn. So let's go ahead and play partnership. All right. So activate one of my characters and one of my supports, and then I may spend spend one resource to take an additional action. So. Um, I'll activate these two things, all right, Jabba the Hutt and this uh, stock uh, light freighter. All right, let's see. Okay, so that's plenty of um, that's plenty of uh, special dice faces. I like that. And then, um, sure, do I want to pay one? Um, 
Yeah, let's go ahead and pay one because I don't know if he rolls two sixes, he'll kill her the next turn or like the turn the turn after. So I'll pay one to gain an additional action, okay? And I'll activate uh, Arinda. All right. Okay. All right. Let's see what Luke rolls. So okay. All right. He didn't roll sixes, so what? Well, one six. That's okay. Um, Oof, uh, Rin, Rinda's in the, um, on the verge of uh, passing away there, so here's what I'll do. Um, I'll gain a resource, okay. Uh, Luke will deal two damage to Rinda, all right, there you go. Uh, and then I'll go ahead and spend two, and I'll play uh, Nowhere to Run, turn each of my dice showing blank to any side, so I'll go ahead and turn them to um, specials, all right? And then Luke will uh, deal one more to our Arinda, all right? And let's, now I think this should be enough to finish him off, so let's see. Um, uh, let's see, so let's activate, uh, well, let's resolve specials, so one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's six, uh, four. Yep, that's twenty. All right, and more than en more than enough to um, bait him. All right, um, uh, and then yeah, I could have done another three here. So that's twenty-three, twenty-four, uh, and then I could turn this to a. Uh, a s s um, Indirect damage and then 27. All right, uh, so yeah, deal 27 damage with Arinda's special ability. All right, uh, so yeah, as you can see, uh, pretty brutal. All right, uh, if I'm allowed to build up my um, my um, you know my dice pool like that, uh, it can end pretty uh, quick. Uh, but do do keep in mind, I I played this a couple of times off camera and look, did destroy me. All right, in a couple of the games. Uh, but yeah, folks, that was uh, a game using this fun Jabba the Hutt uh, special dice face deck against Luke. Uh, and I want to thank you so much for watching. If you have any comments, questions, feedback, go ahead and put them in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this content, make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.